Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have for you a big Sephora haul. Let me just show you the sack. Ooh, let me lift it. Okay, whoa, this thing is heavy. Okay, first of all, 98% um, of what is in this bag I purchased online. I only got to go in the store once and I really wasn't planning on going in the store, but I got to and only bought one item, two items in the store. Everything else was online because I like to shop using Ebates. And if you're not familiar with what Ebates is, or you don't use Ebates, you need to look it up because basically you just get cash back from when you place online orders. And, oh, criminy Christmas, are you serious? Okay. So, first of all, um, I was talking about Ebates. My battery died. Oh, oh. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna, yeah, I've been watching some of these VIB hauls and it's kind of funny, it tickles me where they're like, I've been saving up all of my money and so don't judge me. It's my money and I didn't save it up. I spent all I wanted to spend and that's that, so whatever I didn't save crap <laughs> other than my eBay checks did I save those no I spend those as soon as I get home <laughs> anyway okay um, I will tell you though that there was a lot of stuff that I, I really did want to get that I ended up not getting oh I see something on my table over there oh so unprofessional hang on Okay, now that we're like probably what 10 minutes into the video and I haven't even showed a doggone thing. So let's get started pulling out all of this stuff in my bag. I will tell you though up front that I did get a lot of skincare. And if you watch a lot of VIB, Rouge, VIB, any kind of Sephora haul, you will notice a pattern. All the little young girls mostly they'll get makeup they might get one or two skincare items and they'll pull those out first and like let's get the boring stuff over with first well for me the skincare is exciting because when you get to be my age uh, you want to do everything that you can to preserve um, your face your skin not just necessarily on your face but on your neck and on your arms and everywhere so I just got a little bit of makeup and a lot, a lot of skincare. So, hmm, where shall we start? Let's start with this. Everyone's seen it, everyone's talking about it. The Kate, cat, Kate, not Kate, Kat Von D. <laughs> um, metal, metallic palette, which of course you know everyone, one way it's metal, one way it's matte. I got this because I have always been wanting to try her um, her Metal Crush eyeshadows and the singles are like $21 just haven't never gotten around to buying them and then she comes out with this palette so let's give it a go and see what we think um, I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna show you I'm sure everyone and their mama seen it it is a it is a very big palette though. Gosh, I wish I had a chocolate bar that big. But yeah, there it is. It's very pretty. And um, I personally will be able to rock all of those colors with the exception of the black. I don't do too much with black eyeshadows. Um, it would suit me just fine if there was never ever a black eyeshadow in any eyeshadow palette ever. But anyway, that's just me. Okay, another makeup item that I got was from NARS. And this little guy, gosh, everybody was wanting this. And it's the NARS um, Sarah Moon Mind Game Velvet Lip Glide Set. I have one on. I don't like them at all. Um, but it's this little kit right here. What color do I have on? I, I put this one on just for the video, and I don't like it. Oh, Carmini, I'm not going to be able to see what that name is. <laughs> I can't read it. I'm sorry, but it's the, it's this color. Anyway, I don't like the formula. I'm more of a liquid lipstick, 
and this is more of a gloss I don't really like gloss I don't know what I was expecting with this but anyway <clears throat> I don't like it I probably will send that back and I hate that because I used that one so it's not going to be resellable uh, I don't know whatever okay another makeup item was this little dual pack of the all night the urban decay all net all nighter setting spray i'll get it out here in a minute anyway this in itself without the 20 percent off is an awesome deal it's 39 dollars whereas one of these is like 30 dollars so even if you don't get it on the discount the double packs are wonderful so i got that i use that every day and um okay got a lipstick from huda booty huda booty huda booty huda beauty i don't know who she is i from what i understand she's some kind of youtube celebrity person i don't know i don't watch her so but anyway i just thought it was kind of intriguing because it came with a lip liner and it came with two liquid lipsticks and this was a little kit for 24 dollars um I have used them. They're okay. They're okay as far as the formula goes. They're not drying, but they're not long lasting either. So it's okay. It's not my favorite formula. <clears throat> Probably won't repurchase anymore, but I did get another one <gasps> in this order. And this one is called a uh, cheerleader. I'm not going to swatch it. And the reason why I'm not is because I'm probably going to send it back because I just wasn't that crazy about the formula. And I don't want to swatch it and then ruin it to where it can't be resold. So I'm probably going to send that little guy back because I just wasn't that enamored or excited for um, that formula of lipstick. So anyway, I have, there's another, there is another, um, makeup item in here there's actually a couple more but I can't get to them so let's do some skincare first of all got this little set this is the um what is this egg sational skin skincare set oh the too cool for school line. too cool for school yes I am anyway I've had way too much Diet Coke today. Now I'll tell you what it was. I had a, um, it's actually been cool enough here in Oklahoma that I actually was able to drink a spiced pumpkin cappuccino this morning. And it was delicious, but I can feel myself be wound up for a while. Anyway, this comes with a little mask. This is the egg cream mask. Wanted to try that, so I got the kit. Um, I wanted to try this, which is the All-in-One Egg Mellow Cream. It's a cleanser. No, 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 no. This is not a cleanser. What is this? This is a moisturizer. This one's a cleanser. This one's a cleanser. Oh, egg mousse soap. I mean, come on now. And then it had this little bitty, um, little silicone, little cleanser brush thingy. I probably won't use that on my face, but anyway. That was in the kit. That was a good deal. I got another kit. I got a lot of kits. That is the best way to go. If you're wanting to just try out a bunch of, sorry, different stuff, get a kit where it's got a little sampling of each thing from the brand or different brands. Like this right here. This is the Sephora Favorites Beauty Unmasked set. This was $20. I mean, 20 bucks, and then, of course, you got the discount off of it, but it was even worth it. You know, it's got Shiseido in it, a little eye mask, um, Origins. It's got this Caudalie um, Detox Mask. I mean, that's a good size sample right there. A Glam Glow in it. So, and then it had the Dr. Brandt um, 3D Filler Mask. So, am I recording? Yes, okay. Good, we're good, we're good. So, got that kit, and then I got another kit right here, and this is the um, Mask Beauty Sleep, which is all about the um, sleeping mask. I'm really starting to get intrigued and wanting to try a bunch of different sleeping masks that you just put on your face when you're sleeping. Basically, it's just... A super duper hyped up facial moisturizer 
face cream, night cream, night cream. That's what I want to say. Night cream. I can't get it open. I shouldn't be using a knife. <clears throat> I will tell you. I was doing that once and I stabbed myself. I still have a scar. You're not going to be able to see it. But I still have a scar there where I stabbed myself. It went all the way to the bone. My whole arm was black and blue all the way through here. Oh, and it hurt. Oh, it hurt. But anyway, okay, this is what it looks like. Now, this has got the Sephora brand in here. It has Algenist. It has Caudalie. But what I was really most interested in, and I was going to buy the full size of this, and then I seen this in the kit with all these other goodies. So I thought, well, let's just try it first and see if I like it. And it's from the pharmacy brand, the F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. And it's the Sleep Tight Repairing um, Overnight Mask, Sleeping Mask. I had um, put this on my hand while I was at Sephora one day. And, oh man, it felt good. It felt really good. And for the winter, it's more of a um, an ointment. It's not a cream, for sure. It's definitely more of an ointment feeling type feeling. And then it also had in it a Sunday Riley, which we all know how expensive she is. This is the Blue Moon cleansing balm cleansing balm tranquility cleansing balm hmm. so what does this look like i just got my order by the way this is monday the 14th today the 14th 11 12 13 14th yes the 14th of november i ordered on the very first day of the sale it took them five days before they even shipped my order and I just got it in the mail Saturday, which is at the post office, and I just went and got it today, so, yeah. Okay, this right here is a, called a Cosmo Cube. I wanted to get this. It's just a little um, acrylic palette thingy because I mix my foundations a lot, or I might be adding a... Uh, cover effects custom drops to my foundation and I always do it on the back of my hand and then I go to reach for something and I turn my hand and everything starts sliding off and then getting you know all over everywhere so I got this this wasn't that expensive it was like nine dollars so hmm, I know I could have I could have used something else that I have but I wanted that so I got it okay Another product that I'm really excited to try. This is by Dr. Jart. Dermaclear Micro Pad. Oh, Dermaclear Micro Milk Peel. And it comes with these little pads that you're supposed to soak with the solution and then put all over your face. And it's like a little milk peel, which we know the, the lactic acid in milk is supposed to be really, really good for your skin. So, I'm going to be um, giving this a go. So, got that excited <clears throat> I got another makeup raw sauce this is an essence if you have not tried an essence and you're kind of been wanting to maybe try one this one's a really really good one this is a good one and this is the small bottle it's like $14 and with an essence it doesn't take very much it just takes a few drops that you put into the palm of your hand and then you rub it together oh no and you rub it together and you just kind of press it into your skin like so and that's how you do an essence and the essence is the first thing that you put onto your clean freshly cleansed skin to prepare your skin for the remaining of your skincare routine okay <clears throat> and then I got oh this this is this this is good this is good I've used some samples of this in my um, my sample what was that called anyway we're that whole month September samples sam sample September where I use nothing but samples for the whole month and this was in there is the Tatcha Harper resurfacing mask for instant glow holy smokes this thing works it works wonderful it's expensive it's not cheap that's for sure but you don't have to use it every night a couple of nights a week and oh man that was good I liked it I liked it a lot so I got one of those oh I'm hot 
I got some more masks. Whoops, backwards, upside down. Anyway, I seen um, Tammy from Upsies Beads 59. She did a demo of these before the sale started, and it's the primary raw soy milk. Wait, primary raw mask. But anyway, it's another a a h a milk peel. It's another milk peel. Okay, it's got this little swab here that has the product and you mix it with the mask and then you put the mask on. I got um, five of those. I got five of those to try. Alrighty. And then this. I got this. This is from Tatcha. Tatcha, which is a Korean skincare. And um, this was a kit. It's the Art of Geisha Pure Skin. If you have not seen the movie Memoirs of a Geisha, you need to watch that movie. It's really good. I don't know when it came out. I don't know who the actors are in it, but it's really good. But look at her. I mean, look how pretty their skin. Oh. Anyway, I got this. Because, first of all, I know that I like the enzyme powder, the rice powder. This is $15 for that size right there. I wanted to get the setting spray, this moisturizing setting spray that a lot of people talk about. And I just watched a video not too long ago about Wayne Goss talking about this. About how you can spray a little bit of this onto a beauty sponge and put it underneath your eyes to calm down the powder that is underneath your eyes after you get done with all of your makeup and then just kind of press it into under your eyes and it really kind of helps to smooth the um, crepiness. So I got it mainly because I wanted to try this and I thought well the kit has other products in there that I like that I know I like that's what it looks like and it was a win-win for me. That was probably one of the most expensive things that I purchased though. That was an expensive kit. But anyway, um, there's some more masks that I got. What is this? Oh, no, this was the most expensive thing that I got. This is the Drunk Elephant Sea Firm a Day Serum. And this is, has an absorbic acid, 15% absorbic acid with pumpkin ferment extract. Which I've heard nothing but good things and the reviews are really good. I like the fact that since it's a vitamin C product, it's in a completely sealed up container so there can be no air exposure to it that would um, cause your product to become unstable because vitamin C is very unstable and once air gets to it, it pretty much just it takes away the potency basically. But it's just got that cute little container that pops up where you get your product out. I mean, I know that I won't be able to, one, know when I'm gonna be almost out, and two, be able to scrape every last bit of it out because of the package, but anyway, that was expensive. That was very expensive. That better worked really, really, really good. Okay, um, I got another Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. This is the Artist Shadows number three. This was in the clearance section. So, got another discount off of it. And looks like that there. Very, very pretty. Um, we're coming to the end, guys. Oh, I got a blush from Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs. This is the Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. And you've probably seen people showing it, you know, that it doesn't swatch very pretty or very good, but it's really pretty on the cheeks. I haven't worn it yet. And um, that looks like that there. It's really pretty. Very pretty. He had a lot of, there, there was no smell. There was a lot of them that I, I was interested in, but I went ahead and just did that one because I figured it would be the most versatile, especially for winter. So anyway, it's more of a nude. I got a product from Amazing Cosmetics. This is the Line Smoother Plus Primer. Um, Brianna Stank Stanko was talking about this and I got it 
mainly to use under the eyes here as a primer before putting my concealer on. I opened it up earlier today while I was sitting at the post office. Do you ever do that when you get something and you just can't wait and you sit in the post office parking lot and start playing with makeup? But anyway, it's got these weird little balls on the end. I guess it's supposed to be to help you know, smooth it on. But when I tried it on, on my hand, I mean, first of all, and I didn't realize this, it is um, very, it's silicone. <laughs> it has silicone in it, and I'm not the greatest, biggest fan of silicone at all. But anyway, after I smoothed it onto my hand, it started like peeling up. And if it does that just on its own, I can imagine what it's going to do with anything over the top of it. So, I don't know. That may be going back. I don't know, though. I got a concealer from Becca. And this is the Becca, Becca, Becca Aqua Luminous um, Perfecting Concealer. And I did get it in the color Porcelain. So... We'll see if that is moisturizing under these dry eyes and I got a foundation everybody talks about this foundation so I had to give it a try it's the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and I got it in the color 3.75 and I got the small bottle nobody talks about this little small bottle but it's just a small bottle that I dropped on the floor and it has a a pump on it and of course I'm not wearing it today I have been wearing it for the last couple or the last not couple weeks two days three days no because this came in I had I did two orders my small order that had this in here came in first but all this big stuff it came in last anyway whatever it's okay I don't know I don't know I don't know if I like it or not Okay, the two things that I purchased at the store when I went was this right here, and this is the Sephora Metamorphous Exfoliating Powder. It's a powder cleanser that I've been talking about. Um, gosh, this has been on my loves list for a very long time, but it's out of stock on the Sephora website. It's on clearance, and I, it's discontinued, and I just happened to come across it. So I'm going to give it a try. I can't read the ingredients, so I'm hoping that it's not, um, I hope it doesn't have a lot of baking soda in it. But anyway, and then I got a little baby ambient hourglass powder um, in the color Ethereal Light. Mainly to maybe just set my concealer underneath my eyes. I thought maybe that might work. I don't know. Looks like that there. I don't know. Oh, see? That that just that is just peeling up like really bad on that primer. Hmm. Alrighty. Um oh I got I got whoa, where'd I go? There I am. I did get a 500 per 500 point per from Buxom. The lady she taught me into it. She's like, "Do you know any of these point perks?" I'm like, "No." She goes, "We just put this one out, and it's already that's the last one." Okay, I'll take it. But I did wear this lip gloss, and I'm not a lip gloss person, but this was really pretty. And I wish I could tell you what color it was in. Maybe I can look on the box. What does it say on the box? Oh, pink truffle. It's in the color pink truffle. It's really pretty on. And it was um, very minty feeling. And then it also had in here a little bitty buxom eyeshadow. Look how small that is. Uh, I mean, okay, it's even smaller when you open it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's really pretty though. I haven't had a buxom eyeshadow. I've been thinking about, you know, building one of my own, you know, but I just never have. And there's that. What is that color? Oh, I can't 
can't read it. Oh, metallic bronze. It is pretty. And then it has a mascara and then another uh, liquid lipstick in the color Toasted Fig. So I can try out the I could try out the Buxom liquid lipsticks then. Okay, folks. I think that is it. Do I have anything else in here? I do have another order. This I, I placed this order before the sale started because I was afraid that this kit would sell out. And it did. It sold out like probably immediately. But it was... Another Drunk Elephant little um, travel kit. This was expensive for the size that these are, but it has the glycolic uh, night serum in it, and then it had the marula oil. The Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, which was what I was wanting to try because I already have this, and I really do like it. So I thought this would be good, you know, to take on little travel, little overnights, and then I wanted to try that. So I got that, and then I was, since it was before the sale, I was able to put in a code, and I got this guy here from Belief, which is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm to give a try. And another 100 point perk or 100 point thingy that I wasn't reading correctly, but it's from Sunday Riley. It's the Martian mattifying something something toners for oily skin i didn't read all the fine prints i just seen sunday riley oh put it in the cart just for oily skin and i don't have oily skin even though i look like i have oily skin today because i am like glowing for some reason is that it that that my friends is it for my sephora haul sale stuff that I did. I hope that you enjoyed and um, I'll try. I mean, I hate to sit here and say, I want you to know how everything worked out because I know I won't. I know I'm really bad until you see it in my empties and then you'll hear about it. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Have a great night and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.